Hi there, and welcome to the FreezerWorks 2021 Learning Series, your visual guide to our new and improved sample management software. In this introductory video, we'll take a quick look at the most notable new features in FreezerWorks 2021, all of which come from our web client, the browser-based tool that allows secure remote access of your database. Should you need any more information after today, everything we cover is explained in greater detail in our user's guide and other videos to come. Since FreezerWorks 2021 is all about the web client, if you are running a standalone copy of FreezerWorks rather than client server, you will not see many changes to your software, but you may find something in this video series that gives you reason to upgrade. The simple goal with FreezerWorks 2021 was to bring the web client closer to our standard desktop client in terms of functionality, so that more day-to-day -day users can take advantage of it. You see, choosing a web client deployment can help lower the cost of ownership by reducing installation and upgrade requirements. In that vein, the web client is now available in the server versions for all four editions of FreezeWorks upon install, and licensing for FreezeWorks client server has been simplified to just two types of named user licenses. These licenses determine access to both the desktop and web clients, making the two no longer separate entities, but simply two different ways to use FreezeWorks. The first step in bringing the web client closer to the desktop is to allow samples in Aliquot's entry. You are now able to create entry forms in the web client for the web client, so that standard data entry, modification, and analysis can be fully performed remotely. No need to prepare things on the desktop. Creating clear and consistent entry forms is easier than ever with a new streamlined drag and drop configuration tool. Organize fields into panels and columns with headings and colors to make your entry forms readable and easy to use. If you make a mistake, everything on the form itself can be dragged somewhere else or simply removed. As you probably have noticed, there are little dots that appear as guides, telling you where objects can be placed. Just like the desktop, every sample's entry form contains an aliquot's entry area as well, which can be configured in the exact same way. Now, when actually using your entry forms for data entry or modification, you'll notice that they look nearly identical to how they do in configuration. Then, as you create samples in Aliquots, you'll soon find a host of samples entry features from the desktop have made their way onto the web. This includes the ability to change entry forms on the fly, the create another checkbox, the Aliquots list box, where you can do a number of things like print labels. There's also transactions, a freezer map, and of course, an audit trail. The audit trail will keep track of everything done to records on the desktop and the web client. Exclusive to the web client's version of samples entry is the edit mode. Whenever you open an existing patient, sample, or aliquot, it will open automatically in a read-only state. To edit the record, just click the edit button in the bottom right corner. This change will prevent patient samples and aliquots from getting locked when users are simply viewing data making it much easier for many users to be working in FreezerWorks at one time. This change to record locking is also applied at the freezer level, so users can add and modify aliquots in the same freezer at the same time without issue. If you have Summit or Pinnacle, you also have the ability to add samples to new or existing patient records. Or, if the sample is already associated, view the current patient in a patient's entry form. Patient entry forms on the web client are designed just like samples entry forms and allow you to not only view patient data, but add and modify it as well. You'll also find an audit trail page in every patient record. Everything in FreezerWorks is kept track of. Next, we have the inventory list view. The inventory list view will appear whenever you finish creating patients or samples and when you search for records, which will give you easy access to all the data related to your search results as well as the search results themselves. Use the tabs to view related data and explore your database. The results list view from previous versions of the web client had a number of features, including sorts, filters, and an actions menu. All of those capabilities have been retained in this version of the list view, but now you can also double click and open records, subset records in your selection, print labels for aliquots,
and delete patient, sample, and aliquot records. Speaking of patients, any PHI data will now be initially masked on the web's inventory list view, just like the desktop client. Finally, you'll notice that you can still run checkout and check-in workflows from the list view, but you also now have access to subaliquot and shipment workflows. The subaliquot workflow standardizes creation of subaliquots from other aliquots. Splitting each possible workflow task into two, subaliquot workflows allow you to make changes to parent aliquots while creating subaliquots with similar or completely different data. Shipment workflows on the web client will automatically create a shipping file for you during processing, skipping a step that's normally necessary on the desktop. Other than that, both workflow types are just like their desktop counterparts and can be run either from the inventory list view or from inside sample records. And that's FreezerWorks 2021 in a nutshell. If you're looking for more on the new product, the What's New topic in our user's guide has contextual links that will open detailed explanations of everything discussed today. If you're more of the visual type, videos diving into each feature of FreezeWorks 2021 are coming soon. For assistance with anything else, including how to acquire the web client, contact your account manager or FreezeWorks support staff. Thanks as always for watching and see you next time.